Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2! We are on a random world generated by the Holy Fury expansion, and we are the Kingdom of Petra. People are leaving the defensive pack against me, that's very nice. We actually have very little threat going on here. We still need to nominate an heir. Alright. Oh, everyone's leaving the defensive pack. What is this? Oh, the flighting! Oh, this is the, um, uh, the, the sort of trash talk, insult, rap battle thingy. Um... I'll settle for no one but the best speaker. Oh, I get to choose. So I'm assuming this is probably based on something like diplomacy and or learning, which is not great for me. Uh, let's pick someone who's who's a good match for us, perhaps. Um, what kind of traits do you have? You're chaste, brave, and trusting. Uh, more effective against lustful, ambitious, and proud. You know what? He's chased. We're going to go with this one anyway for his prowess because it seems like it might fit. Ooh! Decides to focus my character, entertaining the crowd by list listing some of my less flattering habits and man man mannerisms we learned about watching me. But I'm not like that at all! Lost my temper seeing that I was unable to rebuke Kotian's insults. The crowd quickly sided with him ensuring the victory. Very least, I admit defeat. Uh, he calms me down and orders a drink for both of us, ensuring all have done good fun. Uh, so we are losing prestige and renown. But, you know, building a little bit of a relationship there. Alright. I would like to continue to war over here. That being said, I think we have a truce here, don't we? No. How can I tell if I've got a truce with someone? Truce with Rani Ama. This is not Rami Ana. So it looks like I can go after her. Majora claims on Wessex. Which is a duchy. So this is the one that costs us a bunch of prestige, so I can't do this one. Right. But I could do Conquest of Middlesex over here. Which seems pretty good fine to continue to increase our holdings. Uh, Pax, you have tribal vassals, so that's not for real. You have um, no real troops. I have tons of troops here. I think we can just go with this. And I think we may have left things off last episode somewhere around there, so I'm going to send that. I'm going to immediately move in with my um, uh, there we go. Can I make myself, oh yeah, I've got myself banned for leading. I'm going to turn that off because we have tons of babies now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go back to leading some of the military over here. Um, I don't have fantastic military skill of ten, but it's gonna be okay. So we'll we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we can call in our vassal allies, but I don't think so. I think we can just go and step on her, and that's gonna be okay. You want me to duel someone? I will work on that. We'll take a look at it soon and see if that's someone I want uh, to actually go after. So we're going to bop these guys. That's fine and simple. And then we'll come over here and do that. There's still this weird little army. Oh no, the one that's been lingering around is gone. Is there... The Isle of Wight is there? Oh my god! I, I just assumed it was part of the same province over here. I mean, I know that, like, physically it was drawn here. Like, visually. But, you know, there's plenty of times where there's an island and then, you know, it's actually just part of some other province. That's cool! Oh, I didn't realize that. Alright, so we're going to fight some of our troops over here. We do want to siege down Middlesex at some point, because it is the primary war goal. Looks like we're going to be able to chase them down over here. We'll probably hit them once here, and then we'll just see siege this down. She is not leading this army, so there's no chance of capturing her and just getting an instant 100% war score. So we'll just chill here for a little bit. That's going to be okay. We still have negative piety over here, but that is climbing. And some of our retinue rebuilding is still there, so that's going to be okay. Uh, various inheritances are going, that's okay. We are being sieged over here, although they can't pop our walls. They don't have enough people for that. Although, we have such a weak fort that they can actually uh, siege a lot despite that. Hmm, that is really annoying. <gasps> My wife's pregnant. Yeah, I know, and I'm still paranoid, right? I'm the paranoid king, but I'm going to assume it's probably mine, and that's going to be okay. So we're almost done popping that. There is the only one holding. Assassinating. The bold. <gasps> right! Assassination's over here because they built a fairly large realm and it would be nice to see that get torn apart. We don't have the highest plot power. No, I trust her word. 
We'll see what we can. I don't know what their inheritance laws are. If they're gavel kind, then they're going to break up a lot, probably. Well, there's probably just the one kingdom title, but still. Um, it might break up some of the, uh, the the duchies and whatnot and just weaken her. Okay, we've got that. We're at 66%. We'll go and fight that again. If we have the siege and other, we're going to do that. Pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual taste. Most of what she asks for dinner nowadays ranges from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Some scholars do agree pregnant women's cravings should always be accommodated. So I can make sure she gets what she wants. There is a 40% chance that she becomes gluttonous. She does gain a big health boost, which is nice. Or I can spend a gold on any one of these. Slightly more gold, but that, that's irrelevant. We do make her better. I don't really want her to become gluttonous. Although the health boost is nice. Alright, Quail's like... Huh! <gasps> oh, no! Was sent in the thing. She jumped out a moment earlier, or yeah, and driver's caught revealed my plot. Oh, well. It's not someone within my own realm, so it should be okay. Now, we still have the plot going. Yeah, plot power is actually over 100%, so... That's not too bad. My acquaintance was murdered on the orders of... Is that my mother? I think it might be. Victory, 80%. Alright, we'll just probably siege this then. <gasps> Hudsko, my brother! Oh, is your wife dead? Oh, yeah. One child. Um, expose him. So I don't like him, but he doesn't necessarily care either way. We'll stay out of factions or be exposed. Giving you right to imprison him. Okay, yeah, we can we can make sure to we'll, we'll encourage him to stay out of factions. Laughed at the event, flat out refusing to stop meddling in political f factionalism. Okay, well then we expose him as a, a slanderer, and I think we can imprison him now as a result of that. Is he missing an eye? He's scarred. Left hand. Oh yeah, no, there it is, one eye. God damn. What's your kill count? Uh, where's that? Oh no, you haven't killed anyone. Uh, hold on, I want to choose you over here, and you should marry... My concubine? Or my... Huh. Huh. How about okay, and that's kind of it's kind of creepy actually. Marry my concubine off to my brother. I mean, it was a different time, I suppose. But how about you marry um, Ayuna here? I may lose her as my court chaplain, but she is a genius. She's forty three, so that's actually not a lot of baby making potential. Never mind. All right, I'll I'll marry off after a co concubine. Um, brave, uncouth, attractive. Uh, maybe not the ambitious one. That seems a little bit dangerous. So we're going to do that. Okay. And I guess I'll have to get a new concubine. I mean, unless I can keep her as a concubine. People did say I can be... Have a concubine who's married. No, okay, I did lose her. Okay. I mean, it's still a little creepy, you know, sending off my concubine to marry my brother. Um, especially the mother of some of my children, I'm pretty sure. But it would be way creepier if she was still my concubine. Recruitment drive, that's good. I can imprison him, but the thing is... Actually, his relationship's not that good. Yeah, the slandered. Yeah, that's that's the problem that sort of ruined that. And he's ambitious. Hey, I would have liked to play as him, but apparently that was not going to be an option here. <gasps> oh, she's dead, but it was revealed. Still, though, what is that doing to this realm? Not much. So what are we looking at now? Now, this dude is now running all this. I mean, we can keep going on like a murder rampage over here. 62% is not great. Maybe we won't do that. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of garrison here, so they might retake it, but I don't think it's going to happen. We're at 90%. Oh, okay. Our first child lacks a childhood focus. So I don't know who we're going to play as. I mean, in theory, who's the who's the genius? One of our kids is a genius. Oh my god, it's hard to find. One of our kids is a genius, right? Okay, so I mean, that's Bongo Fluffernutter. That's the one who's come of age. Idiosyncratic is a genius. Pseudorandom doesn't have a genetic trait. Neither is Malachi. Phenomenox doesn't have one either. CTO and Beta. Okay, CTO and Beta is the genius. Can I, like, toggle special interest? 
there you go. Okay, so we can keep you tagged. Because I would like to play as a genius to continue things forward. That's going to be okay. Although, honestly, the attractive traits are all really, really, really strong too. So Bongo Fluffernutter, who I need to pick a focus for right now, currently is not... That's not the person I'm planning to have my air. I'm not announcing my pick quite yet, though. I'm sort of going to wait to see what some of these traits come up with. Um... So there's all sorts of min-maxing that you can do with this. Some tend to leave in better ways than others. Some might combo with other ways. I'm going to try to, like, take a variety of these for my various children. Um, the one who's going to be my genius, I don't know. I think Thrifty has, like, the highest percentage chance of some good outcomes. But, again, it depends on who the educator is and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go with some variety. Um, I'm going to start with Humility and just work my way counterclockwise for now. So Bongo Fluffernutter is going to get Humility. Done. The, oh, the top two, the, the ones in the top left corner are less interesting. Those are the ones that tend to just lead to religion and culture changes, so they're not as meaningful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pay to keep my wife entertained with some maids kicking around. 90%. I bet you we go to 100 when we take this. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we're, we're not going for her capital, so that might have been a thing. No, oh, there's 100%. Okay, we'll go ahead and offer peace before they desiege this and force demands. Boom, boom, boom. Middlesex is ours. Our domain is too big, but I'm not super worried about it. Um, now, we could, at this point, go and... Is it not you? There it is. Economic map mode. Go and um, raid Oxford. But Oxford's not a particularly rich place either. I mean, there's some, but I think I'll just sit tight. So these are all retinue, so I don't have to make any changes to these guys right now. I mean, we could for a couple bucks. I mean, we're not doing anything else. Shit. All right, here, let, let's do that. Just Oxford, because we hadn't actually done it. Suffolk is still one of the nice, rich ones here. Uh, lots of tax, lots of money in storage, because they, they actually have other holdings. That makes the big difference here. Battle, and we captured someone. Oh, sacrifice to the old ones. Let's do it. Oh, personal combat skill, and that reminds me, actually, um, that we need to go and duel someone. So what's our personal combat skill? It's an 11. We got minus 10 because of the drunkard trait, which is really crappy. Um, Yaroslav the Monor over here only has a 4. He's pretty old. He's actually been hurt. So, oh, I can't duel you. You were just dueled, weren't you? Not involved in a war. Oh, is he involved in a war? Or is it because we're raiding? Hang on a sec. My court chaplain burst in my tent, flanked by several warriors, dragging Elder... Uh... Oh, obviously a warlock. Is he, though? Well, he is possessed. Alright. Burn him. He's a witch! Burn him! <gasps> New kid. Okay. You... I'm gonna make sure to turn off the... this. And just check. Can I duel you now? Duelers are not involved in a war. I'm confused. Oh, your liege is at war. Yeah, okay, all right, that, that would explain it. Okay, so we have a kid here. Where is my list of Extra Life subscribers? Uh, we are picking up Kenyanya over here. Kenyanya is going to be our next kid. And this is actually my, my son with my wife. No genetic traits, unfortunately, but you don't have the son of a concubine. So you got that going for you. Um, I don't know if some of these guys are raiders, but we'll just go ahead and move over there. It's going to be fine. Oh, we paused again. You did that. Hopefully we can do a duel at some point. At some point, you're, you're pretty old, though. I'm worried that you're just going to die of old age um, before we get to do any real fun stuff. Look, there's some rebellion over here. I guess there's technically a few bucks. And actually, we didn't finish because we have to siege this before we can take that. So it's six gold, but we have to wait for the whole siege. I don't know if it's worthwhile. My daughter... Ooh, he's sick. Dysentery. Uh-oh. I played enough Oregon Trail to know how this ends up. Dracon, you can do it. Plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached me. They're trying to kill my daughter, Malachi. Why, though? Send Malachi into hiding. I think we'll hold off. It's one of my many, many kids. I don't know why someone would target this one specifically. Sending people into hiding can give them a negative trait, I think, or stunt their education. Although you're pretty young for that still. Okay, see, it's pretty good. This guy's got a base of five everywhere, except a base of four for diplomacy because of this. He's already gained a few points in learning, which I like a lot. Might officially name you my heir. My queen has been going around Brussels, praising me as one of the wisest rulers. Gained some prestige and more prestige and vassal tribal authority. Very good. Um, 
You know what? Let's just officially name him. Bongo. Goodies, goods is, is doing that. Um, hmm. Not supporting your canvas. Well, we don't have one right now. So, let's say we name CTO. Okay. And we'll see. Minus a thousand. Looks entirely unqualified. Well, he's a kid right now. That's true. My only qualified person. Oh, more people have flip, though. Some of them do like it. Satisfied with the choice. Um, and as you become a little older, I think the qualification problems are going to go away. I don't know if we have quite enough for a feast right now. I think we'll bank it a little bit. Child, this is idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic Ibex. So I'm going to give you the etiquette focus. So again, we're going to go through the other list. We'll get a nice variety of different traits. It'll be interesting to see. What are our traits? Like, if we're educating, yeah, we have nothing over 12, or 12 and above, I should say, for a proper education, which is a little unfortunate. And I don't know if we've got a lot of uh, intervention skills. Although, I think ambitious can be one. Drunkard. Can we stop drinking already? Pick another concubine? We don't have any in the realm. We could go hunting around somewhere else. Um, let's see here. Search all. Diplo range. Yes. Um, is married. I don't know if it matters, apparently, but I'll say no to that. And ruler, and we want women, um, and we want uh, adult is yes. Any more sort of genius possibilities here? Sort by age. 32 is not too bad. Not interested. Yeah, a little bit lower. Um, what about strong? You really don't like me. No. Doesn't matter. Okay, done. I didn't actually look at all your trades. Someone else is starting some crap. How are our societies or factions going? Yeah, the strength is pretty low. So I think that's mostly going to be manageable. I'm not too worried about going above the domain limit. Not that Middlesex is giving us much right now, to be honest. So maybe we should just farm it out. Um, I think I'll hold it for now and wait till some of my kids come of age. Right? Like, we got Bongo Fluffernutter who is going to be the first person to come in age and may not be my heir. And, um, therefore, you're going to get struggle. Next one on the list. Um, and therefore, we might just give him middle sex, right? That's, that's the goal. Even though it can be a little scary to give things to your dynasty because they might have claims on various titles and then use their land to, to start things. It's not so bad once your dynasty expands and it's like, you know, your third cousin twice removed kind of situation that have no claims on everything then it's okay just keep things in the family that's all right but you know this is the way we have to get there and hopefully we can just stay strong enough as is and people are conspiring to kill me are they so do we actually know that, of who want, want to kill me no right now you are you are leading troops what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stop you from leading troops just for a second so you're ruling in Reigning in, yeah, in Brussels here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Spy Master right here to be back to Plot Discovery. Yeah. So, and I don't think I have to put you somewhere. That's just a generic one. Increase our chance to find, to discover plots. Hopefully figure out who's trying to kill us. Still got the family focus. Oh, yeah. Dude, are you still in a war? Yeah, it's annoying. My love is growing good. We could cancel this mission. What I could do, since our family focus is basically fine. We got so many kids, we don't necessarily need the fertility boost. Although health is nice. We could go and switch over to intrigue or something. To try to combat that. The other thing we could do is if we either went... Okay, not stewardship. But if we either boosted our martial or diplomacy then what we could do is get ourselves above a 12 for our education. Which I think the 12 mostly matters for the um, the adolescent education, because it helps determine what education level they get. But that is a possibility. Unfortunately, intrigue isn't one where we're really able to put ourselves high enough to make that kind of difference. But it might be handy. The war does give us a personal combat skill. And would put our martial high enough. You know what, maybe I'll just do this. There we go. Although, losing out on the... We lost some diplomacy. I'm sorry. Was it... Oh, right, because family focus was diplomacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we weren't on rulership. I could have taken that to increase in my stewardship. But you know what? No, this is fine. 
I got confused as to which one I was on. Because um, I keep expecting there to be a mission here to switch to rulership, which is something that comes up. <gasps> My queen mother just died. Oh, no. Get a new spy master. Who are we going to get? Well, you got a 23. That's really good. You are ambitious. Yeah, there's a lot of negative traits built up there. You're not ambitious. You like me a little bit more. Let's use you. I think that's going to be a good idea. My marshal over here, so I think I can still arrest my brother. Which I'm not going to. And then there's Morian over here, who is trying to fabricate claims. It's only 54% at an all levity. We found an apostate. Did we, though? What is this sim? Groomed. <gasps> Ooh, fancy schmancy. I mean, she looks fine. It's only 10 piety for someone who's really not actually a problem. Although, she doesn't particularly like me. Title claim it? You know what? We're going to take you out of the picture after all. Okay. Uh, hold the feast? Yeah, okay. We'll hold the feast this time. And we'll spend all the money. Try to keep everyone a little happier. Done. I mean, we're not making huge bank right now. Hey! What happened over here? I mean, I can't declare war. You're not independent. Oh, no, no, you do have a leech. Wait. Of Kent, of Vexen. You have, like, no troops. No, you have another leech. Oh, yeah, it is part of this land. Well, that's annoying that that land keeps growing. What about this dude? He's got a lot of troops. Now, I think I can raise more troops than that, but the problem is I can't start the war if I've got my troops levied, and they'd all start over here, and then I have to funnel them over, which could be kind of scary. Yeah, spend lavishly on food. Hereby invited. Are these colors mismatched? I don't like you either. Yeah, okay, we have a truce with you. But... Not with you. This is your claim. Just for the province of Winchester. Without costing us anything else. You know, we don't have to spend 500 prestige on it. Because we couldn't anyway, although we could wait a little bit. There's nothing weird going on. You've got a truce with someone else. You've got very little troops. No real pack. Yeah, okay. Declare war. We're going to take Winchester. It should be fairly easy. Oh no, the feast got cancelled! Oh, I forgot about that! Oh no! All that money wasted. I keep... It's not something that comes up very often. Chief's been going around saying good things about me. Excellent. Okay. Now oh, we've got lots of prestige now. Actually, I should be taking a look at, um, at expanding holdings. I keep wanting to bring everything to level 2 because people have hinted that that's kind of a sweet spot for things. Boom. Excellent. I don't remember what else we're keeping. Yeah, that's yeah, fine, I think. Call of War. Bring you up as well. Okay. There. Spend all the prestige, but it's going to be worthwhile. And send people into hiding. We're not going to do that. One another battle here. We're at 100%. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Boom. There we go. You're now my vassal. And so over here... Hang on, I'm confused. Oh no, that's not the same person. Okay, no, the art is different. I was confused because I keep seeing the, uh, the title of Thak and I keep thinking that's a name. 
So again, you have no real troops. You have no peace treaty. All right. We're gonna take white. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, war elephants. We will get the river crossing penalty, which is fairly, or straight crossing. It's fairly significant, but not enough to matter here. Okay, so that should work out pretty well too. Where are you running off to? Oh, probably crossing that way. It was weird because the animation looked like it was moving south. Like, is it going to go across the channel here? That would be very impressive. Go into hiding. That's fine. And yeah, we're still okay with carving some of this stuff out. My wife is pregnant. I wasn't away. I'm sure it's fine. Luna is now known as the Elder. I don't know when that change happens. Say so we're slightly above our domain limit. Yeah, no, I trust her. It's going to be fine. Well, this guy's pissed because he's not part of a, the council, but deal with it. Do I have any, like, minor titles to give away? I think I've made a few choices. Oh, wasn't I going to go... Yeah, I want to keep increasing the tribal organization. Because centralizing is cool. It does upset them along the way. And it actually it serves to create titles or committees and stuff. Although I think right now I can't revoke titles. Um, well, maybe I can't. I don't remember. We're going to do it, because over here we can start to adopt feudalism, if we work our way that way. So I'm going to do that. Because feudalism is cool. I heard it's all the rage. Done. Oh, we're at 100%, because we've got all your land. Right, right. So we'll just go ahead and offer peace then. Awesome. Um, it's an extra vassalage, but that's okay for now. Worship the ancestors. Yes, please. Again, I'm going to keep going for prosperity and growth in my realm. And we have some to sacrifice. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. We we have no more prisoners. Okay, that's fine. Struggled violently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what are these threats? It's faction members. Uh, you're pretty potent, yeah. Lower, lower the uh, the tribal stuff, but I think overall we're okay. We're not spending our troops right now, which is very good. This is still just my brother, as a couple of people. Sixty-two percent, forty-four. Over in Bree, let's um, let's go and stand in Bree. I'm going to raise my troops. Send them to just go stand and breathe. That's going to be okay. You guys can uh, drop down. That's going to be fine. We'll leave the, the retinue over here. Oh, this is me. I will probably... So this is leading from the center. I think I'll do a flank because I'm not quite good enough, I think. Experimentality. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll keep leading on a flank. It's going to be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-move some people into Bree to be ready to smack this down. There we go. There you go. Raise your flag in rebellion. But, yeah, we'll be able to crush you right away because no one else is really joining your side. We'll be able to besiege you immediately. My wife is feeling somewhat gloomy late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral Im unbalance that is affecting her mood. I can comfort her and maybe become charitable or kind. Spend some time. So it looks like both of them lead to the same health benefit. This also requires some money. And it gives me a chance to become charitable, not just kind. So I will go and do that. I don't think we got either one, because I think it would have shown up here in the sidebar. Slightly unfortunate. Oh, they rejected it. Returning a favor to Budsko. Dang! I didn't realize it was going to get voted on. Is this an independent realm over here? Interesting. Alright, this is slightly annoying. But yeah, we will go ahead and... Um, bring you back over here. Because we might be able to target that. Done. 77%. We'll see what we can do with you in prison afterwards. All right, you get on a boat. Boats land over here. Excellent. I may as well move you here for now. And then we can go and drop the boats if I can click on you. Because they are very, very, very expensive. Okay. 
victory. There's just one siege. We're at 100%. Offer peace. Enforce demands. So, you're in prison. Now... Revoke title. Okay, I can revoke your title. Because you suck. I will do so. That will give me more domain limit, and that's okay. Um, you're not a chieftain anymore. You, yeah, there you go. It's been reset. So, releasing you does nothing useful. I could, at this point, ransom you for ten. I think... Can I not banish you? No. Um, and you still have a ton of claims. They're pretty weak, though. You were content, which is kind of annoying. I think I might just oobly at you. Because the problem is you might still start some crap. So there we go. Done. Alright. Now, military, uh, we are going to drop you. That's fine. And let's consider over here. So if we look at you, packs, uh, tribal vassal packs, non-aggression, so that's fine. You don't have anything going on. You can't raise that many troops. I can declare war on you. We've got all our border disputes and things. Um, yeah, you don't want to vassalize. I can force vassalize you. Oh, a thousand! Oof! Hey, we have a new kid! Okay, you are going to be... Where's my list? You're going to be named... Well, it's a good one. Red Horse... Nope. Red Horse 86. Welcome to the family, buddy. Anyway, we still have domain limit. Here's Malachi Kid, who needs a focus. So the next one in the list is Pride. So we're going to have you do that. Lovely. And, yes, yeah, so... I mean, I guess we border dispute. Because uh, that still costs prestige. Going against the will of the council. Really? Council votes no. So I could still do it. But it would be considered tyrannical. Hmm. Alright, well, let's... What's the deal with my council, man? Got some malcontents. Domain too big. Oh, I didn't realize I got a mood uh, a penalty for the domain being too big. We also have the duchy being, you know, duchy issues. But I guess that's okay. Alright, tell you what then. Uh, Middlesex over here. We're gonna give that title to someone. And tell you what. Uh, then I stop educating you, which kind of sucks. Alright, find characters, I guess within my realm, who are not rulers. And I guess are adults. Maybe by opinion? In particular, the contents, you can see here, right? And we could filter by that. So this is one of our commanders, but that's fine. I'm going to give you, my, my loyal commanders, um, grant landed title of Middlesex over here. And I don't think there's any lower titles, but we're going to go ahead and set that up. And that's going to be okay. And then, yeah, we have too many vassals, but that's going to be fine. Uh, and yeah, this Stuart, who's also content, what am I going to give you? Because I don't directly control these. Bree. Dujour. Duchy of Champagne, which we don't, we don't have any interest in controlling directly. So yeah, I think I'll give away Bree. Um, to this guy. There we go. So now our domain limit is fixed. Now we have the problem that we do still have too many vassals. And the problem is we can't control any titles. So you, you report directly to me, for example. Apostate found. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to Petra, that's not what I'm going to do. Go here. Raj of Wessex exists. We could usurp it if we had money. Okay. So you will do. Good deal. Ooh, bargainer. Nice. Alright, let's go raiding with these guys. 
Maybe we can raise a little bit of money. There's actually a fair amount of cash here that we can steal with before we even do a um a what you call it, which is nice. A raid? Yeah, which we can't actually. We can't actually punch through your walls, so. I should probably raise a few troops then. Let's say just from my capital itself. That's way more than we need. Okay, excellent. You are going to come here, and the troops from the capital are going to go there. We'll, we'll try to keep you more or less together so that you can reinforce in case someone decides to start something. Technological improvement for tech. Yeah, let's get our light infantry, which I think also includes our archers. Or, no, they're just better against archers. And heavy infantry, we've got a lot of that. There's no sieging bonuses to do. Military organization, does it do anything special at the next breakpoint? No, not so much, but that's okay. Or whatever. There's no ahead of time penalty. Let's let's go ahead and bring that up. Uh, we got a battle. This is me. Flat terrain. I think we've got a lot of flat terrain. There's some forestry, but not that much. So I think the flat terrain bonus actually would be really great. So you're here, and you still can't siege. Oh, oh, you're not looting. Bongo Fluffernutter is suck. Oh, er, <laughs> is suck. Is sick. Yeah, you got to move out and become a looter. <gasps> Court physician complete changed it. He's worse off than before. Dysentery brooding. It's just the old treatment. You didn't cut off any body parts. Did not trust me. Bitter rivals. Wait. Oh! I'd become bitter rivals with my son. I'll just try to talk some sense into her going forward. it would be okay. So you need to toggle looter. And then come down here. Hotkey for that is L. I'll try to remember L for looter. V for boat. Doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Alright, now you can knock down the walls. I don't think there's a ton of money left. Wow, we're finding apostates like crazy here. So is it Chiefess who actually does like me a little bit? I mean, no. She actually dislikes me, but not as bad as I would like. Um, what could go wrong? It doesn't improve the relations if I do this. She'd hate me a lot, but everyone else would too. Whatever. It's a burner. It's fine. Uh, childhood. Phenomenox. No, 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 no. So you're going to go and get thrift. Just going to keep going around in a circle over here. Um, if I go and look at my inheritance. So I still would like CTO to come in here. It's a little bit spread out. I think CTO will get there. Oh, no. Fluffernutter has died. Died from dysentery. I'm so sorry, Fluffernutter. Aww. Victory and Siege. Here's some more money. And yeah, we can use her up that duchy title, which will make a big difference for some of our things. Uh, favorite toy is missing. May become fussy. Might still become fussy. Ah, uh, he has become fussy. Which is non-ideal. I think it leads to poor things. I don't remember. Alright, you're gonna pop the walls and then be able to siege some more. Boom. Money, money, money. Okay, and you're both sieging this stuff, which is good. Lovely. Might be a little hard to siege these guys, because they are pretty big and rich, but we've got a lot of territory nearby. I'm not going to do a feast right now. Child. Okay, here's CTO and Beta. So... Cur Thrift is good, because you could become curious. Although, okay, if your child is a genius, I don't have my education page up. Oh my god, I gotta put a cut in here too. Um, we're gonna have to figure that out next time. There might be some things, if he's already a genius, there might be some better traits to go for. I think Curious is redundant. I think, because Curious can lead to something. Like, it can lead to one of the, like, sort of non-genetic intelligent boosters, but I don't think you can get it if you're a genius, so it might be less important to go for it there um so we might just end up going for for whatever i don't know again i might check if i've got interception or um um intercession traits 
I don't remember, but you know, traits that you can use to influence some of those childhood decisions. We've got quite a few things going around, and that might be helpful if we picked up some of that. So we will see. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'm going to see you guys next time. <laughs>